Alright, so here's the plan of attack on this thing today. We're going to get this belt back on. we got to wrap up a few things from whenever we did the exhaust manifold. So, um, I'm going to put a new intake gasket on. We're going to do fuel injectors. I need to get the exhaust underneath hooked up. There's two bolts for the intake that need to be put on. Um, a couple of vacuum lines. Then after we get that all done, we're going to do a new seal for the valve cover, valve cover gasket. And we're going to do plugs, wires, rotor, and cap. So, let's get busy. Alright, first thing we're going to do is get this belt back on here. It's a pain in the butt, but we're going to get it done. Alright, we got our belt back on and tensioned up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get this off and replace the gasket and get these uh, vacuum lines hooked up. Stay tuned. I'm not going to bore everybody with replacing this intake gasket. Basically, remove four bolts, pick it up, put the gasket on, put the four bolts back in and then put the vacuum lines back on. That's all there is to it. Let's move on. All right, so we got everything caught up now. Everything's back together that we took apart to do the exhaust manifold. So now we can start on the actual tune-up. The first thing we're going to do is get the valve cover off and change that gasket, get it all cleaned up. And then we're going to move to plugs. So stay tuned. Well, I unplug a few things, but I'm not going to unplug everything all over again. So I'm just going to work around and try to clean this up. So I think what I'm going to do is break the crud loose with a scotch bright and then use shop towels to clean up the mess left over. Or a rag. So much crud in here. Basically, break it up all this crap, get surface, clean seal surface, sealing surface. I'm not going super nuts on us, I probably should, but I gotta get this Jeep out tonight. It's already 9 o'clock, 5.30 comes early, so it's a work night. If 
this daytime, I take this out and use gasoline. Gasoline does a really good job of cleaning this stuff, whole oil off. But it's not daytime, it's nighttime. It's so bad. This stuff's just been seeping for years. Really, this needs a soaking gas overnight. Just put the whole thing in and soak it, but I don't have that kind of time. Just gonna try to get all the as much of it off as we can. cover eventually all right I looked at just getting another valve cover but everything closes in two minutes so we gotta clean this one up better than it was the new gasket right here here's the gasket we're gonna be using links gonna be in the description I got it picked it up off of Amazon of course you can get Cell Pro everywhere I'm going to go ahead and let these bolts soak in some acetone for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Then I'll clean them up and we'll go ahead and get them put back in. As you can see, we already got our valve cover back on. And we'll get these bolts back in. We'll get this fastened down. I'm going to take a little break for 20 minutes. Let the dog in, let them eat. And then we'll get this knocked out. So as I said before, I'll let these soak in acetone for about a half hour. Let's get all the grease and stuff out. I'm out of brake cleaner. This will work perfectly fine. It's probably overkill. But it's working. That's what matters. Hey, and I even cleaned up my tray. Nice and shiny. Way better. Let's we'll start getting these things in. These corners in, and then we'll get the rest in. All right, we're just start tightening these down a little bit. We're gonna leave them for the loose so we can get them started. Make sure we get them all started for you. So we're going two minutes with it. Okay guys, 
so we got the new valve cover gasket on. We've got our exhaust gasket. We've got new injectors you can see down there in the black. So next we got plugs, wires, rotor, and cap. Let me grab them and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're down to the last step of the night. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get these plugs, wires, cap, and rotor done. What I like to do is lay out all my parts so I can see what I got going on. I buy all these parts off of Amazon. I put a link in the description if you'd like to purchase them and help out the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. And like I said, it helps me out on the channel. So let's get going. So yep, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get to do the cap and rotor. I'm there's only four plugs here. I know it's super simple, but I like to do them one at a time, no matter how many cylinders there is. So that way everything goes back where it's supposed to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the cap and rotor. Real simple here. Let's see. It looks like they are a Phillips screwdriver. The two screws. We'll go ahead and pull our rotor off, or our cap off. We'll leave all the plugs installed for now. So I'm going to go one by one. I'm going to use this little cap here for reference. And I'm going to pull the plugs off the cap and put them on a new cap. There's one. Two. I know I'm going to be changing these wires anyway, but this is just the way I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out our rotor. It's pointing right towards me. So it'll make it nice and easy. These are keyed, so they're hard to screw up. Knock on wood. All right, new rotors are in there. I'm going to go ahead, throw the new cap on. Hercules on these, just get them snug. And they are fine threaded. It's taking a little bit. Alright. So we have to make sure the other one's still snug. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my last plug, just lay it on there, because we're going to be switching it anyway, it'll probably start there, once I do the coil, 
All right. There's the old cap. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, it's a little crooked. It's about ready for a change. Not sure if I need to really think of that or not. No. All right. So I started the coil wire. Just gonna go over to our pile here. Coil wire is obvious because it's the only one with the two right angle boots. Go down in between here and find that thing again. Right here. First one's done. Alright, I'm gonna go find our wrench. I'll be right back. Alright, we got our 5 8 plug wrench. I've already got these all up to 035 is what this calls out for for these that's perfect all right let's start with the first now we're going to go over and find one that's about the size which i think they're all pretty much the same in this motor both of those look like it it's not one of the shorter ones i think we're gonna oh they actually <laughs> they're actually numbered what do you know not numbered right, but they're numbered. Eh, maybe it is right, I don't know. Alright, so we gotta do the plug. I almost forgot about that. We gotta be able to get in there, maybe. Let's see. Swivel socket here. Yep, yeah. looks like it's time for a change. All right, let me double check my gap. Perfectly on 035. Okay, and we'll send her on in there. Super Hercules, just nice and snug. We got our new boot. So our uh, plugs came with some dielectric grease, which is nice. Throw just a little hair of that on to help keep the water out. I predict this should be the hardest one. The rest of them should be, go a lot faster and be a lot easier. This is the hardest part right here. There we go, it snapped on, I felt it. Do a little bit of dielectric in this. Two. Okay, using the old plug to dab it around here. That'll help keep water out. Moisture. If you're fancy. One down, three to go. Alright guys, I officially have 3%. It's midnight. We're going to do a quick test, see if it fires up. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. <laughs> so
<laughs> you don't have to be so nervous, huh? Just be silly. Relax. Okay. If you like this video, like and subscribe. It says Lily. Alright, did it. Okay. Alright.